Hey guys, it's Nate. So, I've created what I believe is probably the smallest sticky piston elevator and just in general sticky piston flying machine that I can find on the internet at least. So, I guess we'll start with the horizontal ones. This one will work from underneath. And so, it works both ways, obviously. Um, this one is only one block. Uh, in height. This one is the standard one. It just goes back and forth. And the, the, the observers are on the top. And, and this one is just from the other way. Um, and so that's great and all, but what about vertical? Um, so this is my vertical design. Um, it's pretty easy just to build just by looking at it. This is the first side, this is the second side. So, um, I have two observers. This is to go up, and this is to go down. And so you're saying, why do you need that slime block? Couldn't you just have that right there? And to that I say no. The reason behind this is that this is not activating this, it is activating this. And the reason this does not activate this is because this does not activate this. Sticky pistons cannot be activated in, on the front of their blocks. Um, and this may change to 1.14, but so far it is only a bug. Um, this is what I've come up with because of this, though. So this will power this, and this will power this. And so I've created a demonstration of an elevator that can be used with this. Um, you start here, and you press this button, and what this does is it just... This just powers this observer. Well, updates it, at least. Um, and you press that, and then it'll take you up, because that's what an elevator does. And then you can press this one, which just powers this, um, because I didn't want any redstone to be shown on the sides that you could see, which is this, at least in this design. And I didn't want a huge amount to be over here, so that'll take you down. And a cool thing about this, which is what this is for, um, it, you can call the elevator with the button. Um, <clears throat> the same button that you use. So the required obsidian blocks would be here and here. But, for my redstone, uh, this block is for the blocks that I used for my redstone, but do not need to be obsidian. This is the obsidian for my redstone and the required ones. This one and this one are the only actually required obsidian, but I recommend you use it for the redstone so it doesn't break. Um, the glass blocks are the blocks that, can, that don't have to be uh, obsidian. So this one, this does not have to be obsidian. <coughs> but rest does. This has to be obsidian though. So I guess I'll show that by putting that there and there. So that's vertical. Uh, so that's my smallest slime block elevator that I've created ever. I, from what I can tell, it's the smallest on online, at least, that's popular um, for the tutorial. So if you want to get started with the slime block elevator, um, you place one obsidian here, and then you build up on top of this to where you want the top of the elevator or vertical machine to stop to be, and then you place an obsidian over to the back of that obsidian because 
the front two will not be sticky uh, slime blocks. And then you go back down. And then once you get back down, uh, you want to get started by placing slime blocks here. Um, two observers right here and a piston right here. You want to break this block and then place a sticky piston here and then two slime blocks here and then you're done. And so this is the finished contraption to start going upwards. You activate this observer and then to get back down you activate this observer. So in order to build the horizontal uh, slime block machine, uh, you want to start by placing where the, in, uh, the ends of both will be. So I, I'll put it over here. Um, and then you start off by placing a sticky piston here, a slime block here slime block here and a sticky piston here and then so they will be powered to place an observer here and an observer here and then now you're done so you play, do, uh, activate that to move it this way and for the other side you move it the other way and in fact this can be mirrored and it will still work uh, perfectly fine um, so this will also move it. If you want to build a horizontal piston with the observers on the bottom, uh, for some reason, you can always do that by placing the same frame like this, except under each slime block, you place an observer right there and there. Then there you go. Um, that'll work. Sorry, that, that will work, but um, I forgot to put this city in there. Always make sure you have a start and an end, or it'll just move forever, and you do not want that under any circumstances, unless you're trying to mess with someone. But if you want to operate this, what you do is you first uh, click this, uh, you do that side for if you want to move this way, this side if you want to move the other way, I'll just show here. But yeah, that's that's about it. It started with a one block thick version of the slime block contraption. You want to start by placing your obsidian like you always do, and then you want to put two slime blocks here, uh, an observer, a piston, two slime blocks here, an observer, and a piston, and then you're good. And that's it already built. And so you do the fire charge and get it moving, and I forgot to place the obsidian again. Once it gets to the end, and then you do this side to move it the other way. So that is how to build all of the contraptions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate the video if you want to give me advice, because I do not know how to make good content. My old channel is absolutely garbage. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys next time I make a decent video. Bye!